Overcrowding. Public safety officials say that could be a big reason for yesterday's riot at Maui's jail. But the damage prisoners caused has made things even worse. Sarah Madison follows up. Sarah? Joe, one lawmaker says he's shocked to hear what happened at Maui Community Correctional Center. Senator Clarence Nishihara is aware of the overcrowding, but is also concerned about facility maintenance. Here's a look inside one of the damaged modules. It's not usable because of the extensive damage, so the inmates from that module are being moved into other areas in the facility. This on top of an already overcrowded institution. The main way to battle overcrowded conditions is to assure a maximum amount of out of cell time. The more time out of cell, the less time in confined spaces, the better our chance to deal with the situation. As of February, there are 410 inmates at the Maui jail. The bed capacity at that facility is 301. We reached out to ACLU of Hawaii, and they tell us they do not know the specifics of the disturbance, but in general, it has raised concerns for years about unsafe conditions in all our jails and prisons, including significant overcrowding at the Maui Community Correctional Center. That is why we filed a formal complaint about prison and jail conditions in Hawaii with the U.S. Department of Justice in 2017. Senator Clarence Nishihara, Public Safety Committee Chair, says he's aware of the overcrowding and is also concerned with possible maintenance issues. Do they have the resources? Are they giving the money to make those major repairs, those minor repairs that they need, which precipitates such things as um, where a guy was able to escape from O Triple C because the the, uh, the doors weren't locked because the doors were inoperative, you know, so he was able to escape. I think those kinds of things comes down to maintenance. We're told MCCC met minimum staffing level requirements on all shifts, even though there are 17 correctional officer vacancies. Back to you, Joe.